Hi there, I'm back with another video for you. It's just a quick one, um, just showing a different style of card. I did a kickstand card, which I put on my blog and on the Ideas to Inspire blog this week, and there was a few people that said that they would like to see how it's done. It's really quick and easy, um, so I'm going to talk you through how I did it. I prepared all the panels and everything beforehand to save time, so um, it'll just be a case of just showing you how to put it together. Right, let's get started. I've taken a square card with a fold at the top um, and I've used this magic tape um, or you can use some sort of low tack tape to just tape your border down, da uh, your border die down wherever you want your cut border to be on the card um, and then run it through your die cutting machine and you will get this so you've got your die cut border in the front um, with a full size square at the back now to save time I've matted and layered my papers and I've machine stitched them and I'm just going to quickly stick them on I like to decorate the inside of my cards anyway but more so when you're doing a a kickstand card. Um, it just seems to finish it off nicely. I'm just going to glue it down. It's up to you if you wanted to add lace or, or ribbon to the inside you would do that before you actually stuck it down. I'll stick that in place. And I've got um, a panel here for the insert to write your message on and I'm going to stick that down flat as well I'm just using collar glue for that I, yeah. not the photo glue, the photo glue does not it sticks alright but after a couple of weeks it seems to lift off um, and you end up if, if you're doing cards for um, demonstrations and for, for shows and that you're better off using something that's going to be more permanent and longer lasting so I use the all-purpose adhesive as opposed to the photo glue made by the same people um, but it definitely it's once it's stuck it's stuck it does give you time to move it about and you can also rub off any marks um, as you can do when um, you're using the other photo glue there's a mark on there I'm just going to rub off um, but as I say, once it's stuck and it's dry, it doesn't come off. Right, so for the front, I've done the same thing. I've machine stitched the paper onto the backing. Um, and then I've stuck some lace on. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick it in place now. With some glue. I am quite liberal with it. I find when it dries it makes the card really strong and thick and substantial. So many people that have felt the cards have said, oh what grade card do you, what thickness card do you use? To be honest I buy mine in bulk from the paper mill shop. I think it's about 300 GSM, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but using this, the glue makes it an awful lot makes it feel a lot more harder and, and substantial once it's dry. Right, here's my image, all coloured, glittered and ready to go. When you stick it in place, only use, only put the foam pads where you wanted to stick to the top part of the card. You don't want the foam pads on the bottom, otherwise your card won't open. And of course, we're going to be fighting with and pads again. Get, them, get that stuck on right. I'm going to put that in the middle and I'm going to make sure that I can't see the insert from the front. Not the insert, the sentiment part. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the bottom of it actually goes to the bottom of the card so that when you stand the card up um, 
that forms the front base where it's going to stand so when it stands it'll actually stand on this part here give you a better idea when it's done okay I'm just going to finish my decorating I'm going to I've stamped out a sentiment and matted it onto a circle of pink and I'm going to put that in place under there I think and I'm going to stick some flowers on I use as always incredibly tacky except I've put it I've decanted mine into a bottle um, as I've said before in one of my previous videos I found it easier to pick the glue up and then with a the pokey tool and just uh, pop it on the flower or the bow whatever it is I want to stick on so I'll stick that in place there and then I've selected my flowers and I've glimmer misted them already and I'll just pop them in place I think that's more or less where I want it put a little rosebud in there take it onto the image I'll push the cherry blossom underneath as you can see I'm rather liberal with the with the glue. I like to make sure that they stick. Oh, come on. A couple of rosebuds on the side there. And then I'll just pop some leaves in. Just uh, cut some Marianne Design dies uh, leaves. I think that that stem might be a bit too long, but I'll see if I can push it underneath a bit. Yeah, I can. I normally just break a little bit off the bottom of the leaves, and I'm just I'm still using this uh, tacky glue, this incredibly tacky, even just to stick the leaves in. I love it because it grabs straight away, although it does take, doesn't dry instantly and gives you time to manoeuvre, it does grab straight away so even when you stand your card up, um, the flowers and the leaves and that don't slip out. Not a good look Bev when you let the pokey tool slip into the glue. I don't know whether to put another one in. Maybe some here. And there you go, you have a kickstand card. Now I've got the video camera set up above me so it's not really going to show in here but you'll see in the photographs uh, on my blog when I post this video that will show you it's standing up to show you the effect but that's basically what you've got so when it stands that stands against there like that 